Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my kettlebell workout. We're going to be working the entire body with 20 different exercises, and for each exercise, we're going to work for a minute. We'll have a 30 second rest in between, and I'll explain the upcoming exercise. Okay, make sure that you're familiar with the kettlebell swing. We've got quite a few of them in this workout. So if you're not, then I recommend going on to a YouTube tutorial, and they'll talk you through step by step. Okay, weight-wise, that will depend on your fitness and strength level. I've got two kettlebells here, so I'm going to alternate between my lower and upper body. You work with your level, and if you don't have a kettlebell, you can also do this with a dumbbell. Make sure that you've also warmed up before you start, it's really important. Either the warm-up on my channel or warm-up of your choice. Also, make sure you've got a drink and a towel to hand so that you can dry those hands. They do get a bit sweaty and you need a good grip, particularly for those swings. Right, I'm going to set my timer and we're going to get straight into it. So, let's go. Right, the first one is around the world. So you're going to take your kettlebell, you're going to have your feet in between hip width and shoulder width apart and you're going to pass the kettlebell around, okay? Just like this. Try and keep it relatively close to your body. And then we'll swap 30 seconds and we'll go back in the opposite direction, keeping that core nice and strong as you do. Right, ready? Off we go. So, so. Start off slowly, get your confidence and as you get momentum you can go a little bit quicker. Right, so. Keep it nice and strong. And you're going to get ready in five to swap to the opposite direction. So slow it down and stop and go back in the opposite direction. So again, start slowly, get that momentum and then pick up the speed. Well done. Last few. Fantastic. Right, next one is that kettlebell swing. So it's a hinge at the hips, okay? We're not squatting. It's that hinge at those hips. And get that momentum up. As you come up, thrust those hips forwards, locking them, squeezing those glutes, okay? So everything's nice and tight. Back's nice and straight. Head up. Bring in the kettlebell between kind of chest and eye height. So off we go, get that swing and thrust those hips, squeezing in those glutes, hinging at that hip as you go back. The kettlebell will almost tap in your bottom as you're swinging through. Well done. So back nice and straight. Locking at the top. Well done. So keep going. Fantastic. Keep right to the end. Well done. Okay. Place that down to the floor. This is what we're going to do the reverse lunge pass through. So take the kettlebell in your right hand and you're going to step back with the left. As you come down, you're going to pass through. Step forward, step back. Oh, as you go down, pass through. So it's alternating legs as you go. Making sure when you do that step back, you've got that 90 degree angle in those knees. So off we go. So working for a minute for exercise, it's quite challenging. So you're gonna push yourself. But if at any point you need to stop, stop. Take a few seconds rest and join back in. Well done. 
head and chest up. So as you go down, it's a nice straight up and down movement. You're not bending forwards. Well done. Last few. Brilliant. Okay, next one, it's another kettlebell swing. So we've got a few swings in this workout. This one, we're gonna do the switch. So we're gonna come down, get that momentum, start with two, then swap to one, come back, swap at midair. So just as you're back here, swap. Okay, making sure that you've got a good grip of that kettlebell before you swap. If you don't feel confident, off we go. Keep to the double arm, that's fine. So once you've got that momentum, off we go. So single, switch. Again, the same rules, hinge at the hip, keeping those glutes tight, thrusting forwards. Head and chest up, back straight. Well done. Fantastic. So it's not the American swing. We're not going all the way up to the top of our head. Just between chest and eye height. Well done. Bring that nice and down safely. Next one, we're going to go into a squat overhead press, but single arm. So, I'm going to put that kettlebell in that right position. Feet just a little wider than hip width apart. And we're going to squat down. And as we come up, we're going to drive the kettlebell up towards the ceiling, keeping the arm close to our ear. So, coming down and pressing up. Okay? So, we go. We're going to start with the right and then you're going to swap for 30 seconds and we're going to leave with the left hand arm. So nice and powerful move. So coming down low and squeezing, pressing above. Well done. So in a few more seconds we're going to swap. So as you come down, swap, put in the rack position, and off we go. So squat, again, bring in the kettlebell back to the starting position as you return back into that squat. Right. Fantastic. Brilliant. Right, we're back to those swings. This time we're going to do a walking swing. So, you take your kettlebell, we're going to do, get our momentum up, we're going to go into a swing. As you come up, take a step forward. As you're up, take a step back. So, forward and back. Okay, again, if you don't feel confident, stick with just the two hand kettlebell swing. So, off we go, you're going to get that momentum and step forward. Still thrusting those hips forward as you come up whilst you're walking. Maintaining that straight back, hinging at those hips. Well done. Well done. Got the last few. You're doing brilliantly. Excellent. All right, 
side, we put that to the side. And we're gonna go into kettlebell single leg deadlift. So you're going to start, we're gonna start with our right leg. So we're gonna extend on our right leg, extending our left. So keep the kettlebell close to your body and you're gonna come down to the floor. So you're almost parallel to the floor. Then slowly come back up to standing with that nice straight back. So coming down and back up. Try and fixate up to a spot on the ground or help with your balance. Well done. Don't worry if you can't come very far down, if you've got tight hamstrings go to your level. So brilliant. I'm still recovering from a hamstring injury, so this leg always feels tighter when doing this exercise. Done. Fantastic. And we're going to repeat the same with the other leg. Make sure if your hands are a bit sweaty, give them a nice dry. So exactly the same, but just on the other leg. So remember to keep the kettlebell relatively close. And then coming back up, nice and slow and controlled to start in position. So, off we go. You'll probably find one leg you've got better balance with. Again, just try and find a spot on the floor. It does help. Done. Right to the end. Right, next one, we're going back to the swing. This time we're going to do single arm swings. So, same principles, hinge at the hips. So we'll start off with the two hands to get the momentum and you just one hand, okay? 30 seconds, I'll tell you, and we'll swap to the left. <clears throat> so. If you don't feel confident doing the two arms, sorry, this, the single arm, you can do the switch, okay? So that's it, well done. Again, thrusting those hips, locking those knees and hips at the top. Well done. And we're gonna get ready to change and swap to our left, so. Swap. Well done. Great work. Kettlebell workouts are great. They're strength building. Also elevating that heart rate. So you get that cardio element too. Ooh, excellent. Okay, so we're down to the floor this time. So I'm going to go for my lighter kettlebell and we're going to go into single arm chest presses. So you're going to lay on the ground, you're going to have the back of your arm on the floor and we're going to just press up towards the ceiling, bringing the arm back down to the floor. Okay, so start with the kettlebell on the floor. 
and off we go. So. If you find it a bit difficult on your back for balance, put those legs or those knees up, okay? Nice and controlled. It's quite a tough one, this one. Working the arms and the chest. Keep going. You need to stop at any point, stop and then rejoin, okay? Brilliant. Last couple. Brilliant. So bring it safely back down to the floor. Come back up. Now you're going to stop the kettlebell to the other side. Now you may find that you're weaker on one side. So again, if you need to stop at any point, stop and then rejoin in. That is a challenging workout, obviously. If you find that your back is starting to arch too much, raise those knees. So lay back on the floor. Back of the arm resting on the floor. And off we go. So coming down. Trying to keep those hips on the floor so you're not rotating. Again, if you find it easier, put those knees up to help with the support and the stability. So up to the walls, the ceiling. Well done. We're almost there. It's tough, I know. Get in the back of that arm to tap the floor as you come back down, okay? Brilliant. So put that safely on the ground and then come up to seating position. Okay, next one we've got a bent over row stand. So I'm going to go for my heavier kettlebell for this one. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold the kettlebell by the board and it's going to be in my tummy area. Okay, we're going to come down, so I'm back to 45 degree, and we're going to row, bringing those elbows up. So double back to the stomach and we stand. So down, row, stand. Making sure that kettlebell is by that tummy as you stand. So you're working those glutes as well. Brilliant. Keep it going. Last five seconds. Excellent. Right, back to the kettlebell swing. So this time, it's your choice. So you can choose either any of the kettlebell swings that we've done. So either the two arms, the switch, <clears throat> the walk or the single arms, okay? So you choose, it's entirely up to you which one you do. I think I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the alternating switch. So I'm gonna just swap from arm to arm. So off we go. Well done. Brilliant. Now 
Remember to keep that back nice and straight. Really mat's clear because we're going to be taking wide steps so we're going to go for alternating side lunges so we're going to go to the side then back up to the side back up as you're going to the side you're going to push your bottom back but making sure that your back is nice and straight and your chest and head is up so off we go You should be feeling it all in that inner thigh here as you go down to that side lunge. Well done. A little halfway. seconds. Excellent. Right, this one we're going to go into side catches. So I'm going to give my light kettlebell and we're going to do 30 seconds per arm. So you just bring it up to the side and catch in. Okay, so bring it across your body, so keeping it close to the body as well as you do it. So we do 30 seconds with the right arm, 30 seconds with the left. Off we go, so swinging it up, nice and controlled though, across the body. Well done. Keeping that core nice and strong to balance. Well done. Get ready to swap. And we're going to change your arms. So again, nice and controlled across the body. Well done. Last few. Brilliant. Okay, make sure that your hands are nice and dry for this one. We're going to go into the bicep curl into overhead tricep extension. So it's a combination exercise, this one. So we're going to take the kettlebell by its horns and we're going to come up into a bicep curl. We're going to press overhead and we're going to come into that tricep extension, bringing the kettlebell behind our head, keeping that back straight. Back up, bringing it down and into a bicep curl. So into a bicep curl, press overhead and bring it back behind the head so you feel that pull in those triceps and back down. Keeping those elbows close to your ears and not flapping out to the sides. Well done. Excellent. Keep going, keep that back nice and straight. Say a combination of exercises when you're working your biceps, your shoulders, and those triceps. Brilliant. Okay, next one we're going to go into a halo, but we're going to do side 
Side to side first, and then we'll go into the halo. So, we're going to hold the kettlebell by its horns, and we're going to go from side to side. Like this, to begin with, and then we're going to add the halo. Okay? So, hold your kettlebell by its horns. We start off going side to side. Okay, now this one, we're going to bring it up and around to the side, up and around. Well done. Keeping this kettlebell as close as you can around your head. So, well done. Again, another great exercise, working multiple muscles at the same time. Keep going. Keeping that core nice and tight, strong as you do this exercise. Fantastic. Right, next one. We're going to go into oblique side crunches. So you're going to hold the kettlebell in your right hand and we're just going to go down side to side. Okay, so you can put your hands on your hip like this, or you can just have it to the side. And we're going to do 30 seconds, right arm, 30 seconds left. So off we go. So side. And you go as far as comfortable, okay? Don't overstretch, but go enough that you feel those obliques. So in this dance, I also call it the teapot, for obvious reasons. Well done. Okay, and swap to the other side. So, off we go. Well done. So keep going. Excellent. I'm almost there. I've got two more exercises to go. Brilliant. Right, the next one is another core one. We're going to do the plank pull through. Now this is quite challenging. So if you want to start off doing this exercise and then just start maintaining the plank position, that's absolutely fine. So we're gonna go into the plank either on your knees, okay, or on your toes, making sure that you've got those hands, elbows and shoulders aligned. And we're gonna take the kettlebell and you're gonna pass it through, okay? So off we go. Making sure that you've got that bottom nice and low. You keep your feet behind you if you're up on your toes, about hip width apart, then it gives you that stability. Well done. Again, you can do this on your knees as well. Fantastic. Keep going. My last 15 seconds. Brilliant. Right, final exercise. We're going to go into that crunch and extend overhead. Now, this is again another challenging one, so you may wish to just do the crunches. So you're going to start in this position and we're going to crunch up, extending overhead as we go, okay? So excuse my chickens. So like this. 
or if you want to just do the crunch, just coming up into that crunch. Or you can try and just drop the kettlebell, then do this exercise with no weight. Well done. Well, she's noisy today. <laughs> Extra noisy. Well done. So keep it going, almost there, no straight. Out today. If you did, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and, then, and the bell and you'll get notified of upcoming workouts. My goodness. Make sure that you call down now, give it a call down on my channel or call down of your choice. It's really important you worked hard today, but it's quite a challenge. And make sure that you continue to drink. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.